Hey, man, what it do? It's Dean. I am your host. You already know. Dean, by any means, hit the like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. It is truly, truly appreciated. The fight that boxing needs, y'all. David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez. We need it. We deserve it. It'll keep the great year that we've had in 2023, probably one of the best years ever in boxing. It will continue that and have 2024 hopefully being even better and getting boxing to be to being back at the number one sport. Because like I said, man, boxing is so personal. David Benavidez has done everything that he's needed to do to earn this fight. Canelo Alvarez is the face of boxing in that division. Been doing it for a long time. Undisputed. He's the guy. And there's no way that you shape it or size it. You can't say nothing about it. But we need this fight for boxing to continue the integrity of boxing, to continue the popularity of boxing. To push boxing to where it needed to be. We complained for years that boxing was not in a good space, and it wasn't. But now I feel as though it's in a great space. There's a lot more attention to it. A lot more YouTube creators, me included. A lot more people got eyeballs on the sport now. And it's amazing. When you got people like David Benavidez, that's world-class fighters, and people like Canelo Alvarez, you need them two to clash. We don't need to be holding stuff for five, six, seven years because then now that don't leave that leaves an opportunity for people like Mangia and David Morrell to get it on. I'm just being honest. This is something that we need for boxing. You know what I'm saying? And then hopefully David Benavidez can go up into the higher weight classes and bring more attention to those weight classes because light heavyweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight, heavyweight more than cruiserweight and lightweight. Has not um is not the most popular weight divisions. When once upon a time they were some of the most dominant. Once upon a time, those three the weight divisions were some of the most dominant as far as pay-per-view attractions, fights that we wanted to see. So, like I said, man, we need David Benavidez versus Canelo Alvarez. The boxing fans deserve it, the sport deserves it. Us as a whole, we deserve it. And it's going to be very entertaining. You know it's going to be a lot of punches thrown in that fight. You know that's going to be a very mentally draining fight. We know that it's going to be a lot of buildup to that fight. And then possibly could have an amazing undercard with a bunch of other fights that we wanted to see. And that will continue to push the sport forward. David Benavidez, the young monster. You got Canelo Alvarez that's been the face of boxing for the last Lord knows how many long, how many years. And this is exactly what we need. Canelo Alvarez don't have no excuses no more to not fight him. Who else is out there to fight? That's in your weight class. That's around your division as a bigger name than David Benavidez. There is nobody. And that's the beauty of this. For David Benavidez, the only other person that the only other two people he could have in his sights is Man Gia and David Morrell, but definitely not before you want to get Canelo Alvarez. So if I'm David Benavidez, every time you interview me, that man name is getting brought up. And I'm going to do it respectfully because you know Canelo could be in his feelings sometimes. So if you don't do it respectfully, Canelo might, you know, shun you and not try to give you the fight the same way he did Boo Boo. But at the end of the day, this is something that we need for boxing. Because, like I said, people like David Benavidez, man, is well deserved. And the further that they go, then now we could start getting the David Morales and the Man Gias and, and, and watch Caleb Plant in the ring and Jamal Charlos. This is what we need to keep the sport going, to have every weight division having eyeballs on it from 130 all the way up. And even now, 126, because you got um, Noah Inouye out there. So from 126 on up, all we the heavyweight, if we can get people interested in these fights and getting people to switch weight classes when they no longer can make the weight, but go up there and fight the big dogs. Like I said, David Benavidez fighting um, better be. That'd be amazing. You know, he got plenty of fights lined up for him. Canelo still would have fights even if he took that loss to him. And it's just an amazing thing how we can mix and mismatch and um, put certain matchups together right now in boxing. There's a lot of talent in boxing. I think Sabriel Matias has shown y'all that that now how you can be 
right overnight with the right performance, now people will start saying your name even more. We need these type of performances to get people interested because to be honest, that Shakur Stevenson performance, it, yeah, it dulled the sport because we were so excited for that and then we didn't get what we thought we was going to get. And that's okay. That's okay because that's going to happen when you got a sport like boxing that is a hit and not get hit sport. And everybody doesn't fight the same. But at the same time, we have to push this. It's on us. It's our job as the, the uh, boxing community to push for this fight, to put the pressure on Canelo to make these things happen because Canelo's not getting no younger. And to be honest, Canelo looked amazing in his last fight versus Jermail. A lot of people said, well, he should have been able to get him out of there and all this stuff. I hear all that. But I got enough respect for Jamel and his boxing ability to understand that that's not just that simple to just get out of there, to just get Jamel out of there. Like he's just some B class fighter and he's not. And he did a great job of running and he had a better chin than most of y'all thought that he would have fighting somebody like Canelo. So at least we know the Charlos, they got they got beards on them. But these are the fights we need, man. And like I said, these guys are too well deserved. Canelo. This is make or break for you, my guy. You got the best resume in boxing. You the most popular guy in boxing. You've earned a lot. But at the same time, as long as you're still going to be a part of the sport of boxing, it's your responsibility to put on big fights and fight the best competition. You've held off on David Benavidez long enough. This is make or break because now it's, because now it's going to get tainted a little bit if you Keep avoiding people. It's already been a stain on your jacket that you didn't want to fight um, Demetrius. It's already kind of been a stain on your jacket that you lost the Bivol and then and then didn't want to rematch him after you took your loss. It's already been a little stain on your jacket. The fact that you haven't been avidly trying to um, press for this um, David Benavidez fight. It's going to look a little crazy if you never fight David Morrell, especially after fighting somebody like um, David Benavidez. So this is make or break for your legacy, my guy, on how they going to remember you. Yeah, you could put up a good first part of your resume and that be solid. And I can't even say first part. I'll say more like the middle part of your resume. Canelo's had a lot of fights before he got to that Floyd Mayweather fight. And he wasn't fighting a bunch of known guys then. But ever since that day, he's had the best resume in boxing, but it's not all without critique. Yeah, you had a good resume up until this point. You still got to face face David Benavidez. Or you got to face Bivu again. Or you got to face Baturbiev. You got to face uh, Benavidez. You got to face these guys. There is no, there. I mean, there's no way around it right now. You want to make money. And I feel as though that the Mexican fan base, as much as they support boxing, they deserve that fight. That crowd went crazy when they asked for that fight. The Latino community, they, they deserve that fight. Because they definitely support you. They support both of you. So give them what they want. Give them what they're supporting for. They deserve that. Cinco de Mayo, the Mexican fan base, the Latino fan base, they deserve that. The Ecuadorian fan base, they deserve that. It deserved to be a big old party in there that day. I'm just being, in Mexican Independence Day, y'all can set up a rematch or one of y'all fight a David Morrell. Or fight um, or fight a, a bivol or something like that. That'd be amazing. This is something that we need for the sport, y'all. And I think it's on them to give us what we want. You can't be the face of boxing and not give us what we want, especially when the other guy has done so much that he's literally in your way. It's like there's no other way. You ate all the corners on a sandwich now. There's nowhere else to go. It's a dead end. It's called David Benavidez. This, you're at a dead end. It's called David Benavidez. It's called Dimitri Bivol. Or it's called Baturbiev. One of them, you're at a dead end. You're at a standstill. Now, you being a face of boxing, you have the choice to pick. But you got to fight one of them. And it don't make sense to not fight David Benavidez on um, Cinco de Mayo when that probably would be the biggest bag you could roll in. Because you know why? A lot of people think you can lose. But the funny part about all three of those fights, a lot of people think you can lose. 
So Canelo, you're 33 years old, 34 years old. Bro, you got about another four major fights out there for you. Major fights. And it's on you to make it happen and then go into the sunset. Because if you take those fights, and let's say you two or two out of those fights. You win two, you lose two. You um, you beat Baturbiev. You um, get your rematch with Bivu, beat him. You may lose to David Benavidez. You may lose to David Morrell. Nobody's going to look at you crazy. You know what they're going to say? Canelo was a tough motherfucker. Canelo took on the best. Canelo um, re resurrected his career after the steroids allegations and all of that. And went on to fight some of the best fighters in boxing, the most feared fighters in boxing. That's what they're going to say. And you'll be a first ballot Hall of Famer. First ballot Hall of Famer. And you'll be solidified in gold when it comes to the Mexican fan base for forever. You probably never have to buy another drink at a Latino bar ever. So, man, this is Dean. By any means. Holla at me, man. This is what we need for the sport of boxing. We need this. And we need it now. I holla at y'all.